today I want to talk about how we can uh, create some additional formatting and I will keep it really simple with two simple examples that will, could help us to create content on SharePoint page and for this uh, I have these two different examples. One is for tabbing to how we can use the, the list formatting to create tabs uh, that you can create content plus some tabs that you can improve the UI on your SharePoint page and the second is a percentage chart. So what is the, the goal? I prepare uh, a list with the with a bunch of functionalities like the amount of tabs, the icons and the image that we can use to, to define some tabs. The tabs will, uh, will be able to, to switch between the different areas and will display different content. We have a, an icon or we can also associate the image, so we can also create some conditions. We can also have a, a title, a description and the, the more info is nothing more than a, a link that will redirect if there is the need itself. And then I also have the percentage chart. What is the goal here? The, the goal is to create something a little more like info, info chart look and feel, where you can create a, a global uh, value and then you can make some type of percentage. So imagine we have a, a total values of, uh, of items and then we can say how many uh, give answers, how much was the expectation and also what is the values that we can visualize and it can be also uh, nice to, to present this information directly on the page. So, the, like I said, the, the goal here is to, to have to organize these, uh, these tabs and we create and uh, on the right we have the, the functionalities that we can validate what when we click on the on the tab and where we save the position and uh, where will be the, the content that is going to be displayed. And the second is uh, on the percentage chart we have a different uh, views and here I use different three different ones that uh, I use uh, for example icons uh, that is coming out out of the box with the with the SharePoint page. Also, we can also associate emojis or we can even include SVG image itself. I'm going just to show the free and also you show the, the list formatting, how, how I include it itself. And let me jump just to the presentation. Oh, this is my home page. And I'm going, for example, for my page. So imagine you need to create some content and you need to have, for example, you go here and you add some text. So text and you have uh, this is my content, my content, and uh, you also need to include a tab. For this, I use um, uh, this, um, this specific list and I create something that uh, we can interact and we can switch. Uh, of course, how this is uh, done, if I go to, the, or to my support list and I go to my items, I will be, this is the, the way that I configure for each one of the positions I define the, the title, the description, and also what type of uh, icon or, for example, one thing that I do, I can include an icon or can I include a link? And he will make the switching of the area itself. For the, the link that I show, for example, I have one view uh, with, a, I have a specific tab and I want to display all the, the tabs. The, the moment I create one, I can say, okay, I want to use the first one. If I make the right uh, filter, I want to use the, the first one in one specific page and the second one in another specific page. And for that, if, for example, I, if I go to one where I define the, the view and I go to the filter, I want to say, I want to define for the second tab that should be with the tab side two. And then I return to my page. So just need to return to my page and I will return just one second. Oh, sorry. And to the tab itself and I can always edit and I will display only the tab that I needed for that specific moment. I can go here, I change and I will switch to the to the other one. And of course, we have the image or we have the icon associated. And then we can choose and we can create content with more user experience itself that can respond some of the requests that you have from the customers. When you have, for example, oh, we want to have a tab, the out of the box is not available, or you have the option to make a development, or for example, for this case, you can use your list formatting to create this user inter interaction itself. And this is how we can also create this this tab and you can use the list formatting to create the tabs. And the second option is how we can create, for example, a, like an info chart approach. Like I already showed it in one of the presentations, uh, the, the goal here is we define, for example, I want to define for the 2022 
we uh, wanted to find that, for example, we make an inquiry to 60,000 persons and we have uh, an answer of 45,000 uh, persons. So I'm just going to have it here and I will put here the title, example, PNP. And then I will define this will have to go, have, needs to be with the, the, with the color gold. The moment I, I create a new item and the moment I create, as you can see, we have a new option here. And this will define, for example, for the ratio, and this I want just to define, for the ratio of uh, for, for 65, and we have 75% of response. At any moment, we can always change and we can define more values, and then we can see the interaction itself. For this one, uh, we I use SVC the creation. The second one, for example, if you want to have some car sales and you want to to display how it's the current situation on that year, you can say, okay, from the total that we defined that we should sell it, 45,000 was already sold. So we already have 75% of the objectives already done. And this is I'm using, for example, my ratio of 10 image that will give me the percentage of 100. And then I can play around and make the change associated here. So I, for example, I will change it here. And this will only 4,000 and will give me the, the associated value. So this will be the one. Of course, we can also associate some emojis that we can represent the, what we are trying to sell, uh, try to, to display, I'm sorry. And also we can use, for example, wave formatting that we can also display and we can uh, uh, display the content of the value and the percentage. Of course, at any moment that we make a change, the, what is the doing? The CSS will hide and display based on the ratio that we have it there. So if I go to my list, and for example, if I go to my first one, I, I'm using a SBC. And what I'm doing is for each one of the user, I load in the image associated there. And then for the calculation, I use the, the 3% ratio. So I define the area, and then with the calculation that I receive it from the 67% or 100%, I decrease and increase the, depending on the values that I have it there. The same I will have, for example, if I go for the car sales, what I have it here is nothing more than using the, the icons. So I will use the car, and for each one, my ratio continues to be the, the same. We have 10 cars that will represent 10. And then I can make the mathematical calculation to have the display. The same that we is doing for also for the other option here. And uh, this is a very basic and but very useful that you if you want to create content and you don't want to create a custom uh, SharePoint uh, functionalities, but you can use this uh, uh, list formatting to display this information itself. And uh, what I want to say is also that these links are available on the sheet of list formatting repository. And don't forget to give feedback on the list. It will be always very valuable based on the, your experience working with the list itself. Vesa, I pass to you. That's everything from my side. Andre, I'm back. Yes, excellent. Thank you. Guess who's back? David's back. Yes. Excellent job, Andre. Thank you for sharing all that. Always amazing what you do with list formatting. You and Chris are a dynamic duo. So thank you very, very much.